Okay. May I please ask all of you, what is your biggest regret? Just in yesterday, I saw a video from YouTube. It is basically about a survey that someone sets up a big blackboard in the center of New York City and leaves four letters on the board. What is your biggest regret? Wait, I think it's five letters, right? Okay, never mind. Someone writes that I should have followed my artistic passions. And someone writes that I should have become a better friend. Someone writes, I should have spent more time with my family. This got me thinking about why there are so many should haves and why there are so many people who know what they should have done, but they never do it until they regret. They may be dominated by the changes around their lives, but they never, ever made a change. My father once told me, you know, life is changeable. If you manage to deal with them, you win. I thought he's totally absurding when I was a kid, but it seems to be not. I have been living in China for 16 years. I live there, I love there, my family and friends in there, and everything seems to be going so well. Until I'm in high school. The burden of academic studies and loads of depression imposed me out of breath. The relationship with my friends seems to be fake and cheatable. I felt depressed desperate and unrelatable to the world as I realized this is absolutely not the kind of life I want. So I doubted, should I change my life? While I was wondering, someone told me that you shouldn't step out of your comfort zone where you're familiar with. And the others just told me that you can't get rid of the life that you're supposed to be living. Because you can't predict the unknowns in front of you and you are not able to deal with it. Oh, really? Is it a really good piece of advice or just an excuse for not being brave? The answer is, I don't know. There are numerous changes in our lives. Everything is changing to some extent. Like, your boss fired you? My girlfriend or boyfriend cheated on me? You fell a math test or something? And all of those are changes. And every day, we are dealing with those changes that can affect our way of life. The power of those external changes can make us feel worried and panic because somehow they break the initial order of what the thing's supposed to be going. You may also feel tiny, hopeless, and useless whenever you fail to give a relevant answer to those challenges. Then you escape. You try to escape from the sorrow and try to avoid the disappointment from the outside world. Do not, I said, do not let those changes change you, because you can also change to defeat. I've never, ever admired my art teacher. He's so picky with our drawings all the time. Until one day, he told us that life once treated him so harsh. You know, he once took up a job as a cleaner to wash the toilet, and he got fired. He has become a waiter, a cashier, a keyboard player, but he's never ever able to fulfill himself. And finally, he found what he likes the most is art. I am really, really happy for him because although he suffered so much, he never feared to change. And he never feared, he never stopped changing until he finds himself. There are times 
that you don't feel satisfied with our current situation. There are times that you don't feel the right to continue following the same routine. And there are times that you feel chained by unsolvable questions, stuck careers, and messed up relationships. It is okay because everybody deals with it. The power of those external changes can beat you down at your feet, and you consider yourself as an insignificant figure or a breakable antman. But the power of changes inside your heart can help you become stronger and tougher enough to win the battle of your life. So, in the end, guess what? I'm here in Canada. I changed my life because I know what I want, and I've never ever afraid of changing. The life in Canada is also challenging for me. Like. I have to adapt to a brand new environment here. I have to speak a totally brand new language and have to embrace the new culture and meet with new people. And these are all terrifying changes in my life. But the outcome seems to be good because now I have good friends and my teachers are nice to me. I have good scores on my subjects. And even now, I have the courage to stand right up here. Having the TED speech in front of a hundred people, in use of my not really good English. Finally, we with my father was said. Yes, never fear to change, and never fear to change as things change. That's all. Thank you.